everything starts with a dream. There are moments in time when those dreams become reality and today is that moment when that Hugo has actually performed the first uh, surgery on the patient in the entire Asia Pacific region. India is a is a vast country with very with very high population and when it comes to healthcare actually it offers all variety right from uh, the open conventional surgery laparoscopic surgery and robotic surgery today only 3 to 5% of surgeries are done robotically so there is an open field of over 90% that are still done the classical old fashioned way. One of the primary reason for that is it's not been able to address the economic barrier. Cost, the cost of capital investment of the machine, the running cost of disposable and turnover of instruments. Cost has always been an issue in robotics. So I think if we have a system which is a bit more flexible and a bit more adaptive to individual practices and individual regional challenges. That's where I think the Hugo system will come to play. Uh, there's also a training aspect to robotic surgery, which uh, has to be overcome. I really feel that uh, training surgeons properly to do this has significant benefit for the, the patients and our healthcare system in general. Hugo is definitely a path changer for uh, surgeons and healthcare, and it's going to provide some healthcare solutions that have not been seen before. Hugo with Robotics has bring, brought a perfect mixture of advancements in technology, of reaching at a crest with technology and also not losing human touch. What we are trying to also do is bring the cost of robotic surgery down, increase the penetration, increase the access to more patients in India. The Hugo RAS system has some specialities like separate arms that you can move around the patient so you have a, a higher range of movement, you can attack the organ from different sides. And you can mix and match, you know, two arms, three arms, four arms, depending on which procedure you do. And last but not least, you also have an open console. The open console allowing you to communicate much better with the team. Well, the Hugo robot offers, I think, uh, the ability to really overcome the training uh, barrier for robotic surgery. I think the way Medtronic has really envisioned uh, Hugo being used is with training at the forefront of the um, application. So it's not because you bring a magnificent tool onto the market, it's also important that the surgeons learn to work properly with it. It's an absolute joy and I'm full of enthusiasm right now that I have seen and been a part of this phenomenal start to the program. We always knew this is going to be a path-breaking technology and having to see it in flesh and blood is nothing but ecstatic. This is first such launch in Asia Pacific and uh, you know it's, it's a proud moment for every uh, one of us here. We were witnessing the history and uh, all the surgeons and they have been really excited about this technology you know coming to their hospital. So that, that's really a proud moment for us. Hugo is like a dream come true. I believe this is the uh, first step of Hugo, but a giant leap in the surgical space.